Wakestone, the home of News and Observer owner and editor Josephus Daniels, was built in 1920 on the edge of Raleigh's Hayes Barton neighborhood. Daniels moved into the house after finishing up eight years as U.S. Secretary of the Navy and kept it while serving as U.S. Ambassador to Mexico for most of the 1930s. When Daniels died in 1948, his family sold the house to three Masonic lodges who added a large auditorium and other rooms in the mid-1950s when membership in the Masons was at an all-time high. As membership declined, the Masonic lodges found it difficult to maintain the property that had become too large for their needs. But because of its association with Daniels, Wakestone had been made a National Historic Landmark in 1976 and later a local Raleigh Historic Landmark. The local designation made it difficult to alter the property, so the Masons couldn't find a buyer for it. Then, last year, the Black Lives Matter movement brought new attention to Joe Cephas Daniels' white supremacy, particularly as it was reflected in his newspaper, The News and Observer. The Masonic Lodges and a prospective buyer successfully petitioned the city to remove the house from the list of local historic landmarks, leading to its sale in March. The new owner, a developer, has applied for a permit to tear it down. I'm Richard Stradling with The News and Observer.